And uh, we'll get him right on the show right now. We're joined by head coach of the Shepherd Rams football team, Ernie McCook, live from Mobile, Alabama, down there catching <laughs> senior ball practice for two of his players. And Coach McCook, how's the scene down there? Uh, you know what? We're just getting to town. Uh, I got Coach Klein, Coach Hare, Coach Claire, and Coach Williams with me. And uh, we're the vibe is great, though. How's that sound? Uh, it sounds great. Uh, it's been a busy uh, 24 hours, I guess, technically into today. Because when I looked last night, you were at 26, and I checked back, you're at 32 now of guys that you've signed to national letters of intent to play for for your team next year. Yeah, we, we I think we had six or seven mid-year guys come in, as well as uh, the, the high school kids that are signing. Yes, sir. So we're our coaches did a great job. Um, Coach Wright, our recruiting coordinator, our coaches have been working their butts off, really trying to put a good class together so we can compete. We're losing a lot of good players. Coach, I think the first, I guess, question that stands out to me and probably many Shepherd fans is uh, that you were able to sign a quarterback transfer in Seth Morgan from VMI. And uh, what does he bring to the table? And I guess... How do you think he fits into the room and the competition there at quarterback? Well, you know what? Uh, we're going to have a new signal caller for the first time in five years. And uh, we've got the best player in Shepherd football history and to, to replace. So we needed to make sure that uh, we went out and we're trying to sign the best high school player we can find. And we've got, we, we're hoping to have that wrapped up here in the next week. Uh, we're hoping to, when the transfer gives us a little, um, Seth Morgan gives us some game experience, but we also have some very comparable guys, Christian Etchison, Lech Powell, and Sammy Roberts, all that are going to compete in the spring and define what their role is here, kind of moving into the fall. But uh, competition is healthy. It makes your team better. And if you can have depth at that position, uh, I, I'm really, you know, that's what our goals are. But we're really excited to have Seth in the program. Uh, the few weeks that he's been on campus has been, you know, he's shown a lot of really positive things. So, it, uh, but we're we, we like we like that room right now. We're excited as well, and a few other transfers. I know Bizer being one, but uh, just talk about all the. Uh, let's stick with the transfers that have come into yeah, the program we, for now. Uh, Coach. We, we've got a couple receiver transfers. Uh, Jeremiah Taylor from uh, Fairmont State, Barry Hill from West Virginia State. Both guys, we think they're going to give us depth in the wide receiver room. Really excited about Harold O'Neill. Um, you know, a linebacker, when he played at Lackawanna, we thought he was, a be and they played on our campus two years ago, we thought he was the best player on the field. Uh, Tyler Rozier, uh, he he's a defensive lineman. We're really excited about him. Uh, Jackson Beiser, uh, we recruited him hard out of high school. There was coaching change, obviously, at Frostburg. Jackson's opted to transfer to us. Um, let's see, Avante Lockhart, another really good inside linebacker. So we, we felt we did a night, and uh, Geo, um, safety we have from Fairmont. So we really feel good about the, you know, we, we got some key members on defense couple good wide receivers uh, to help our offense out. So got them in here for the spring. They'll be here and be ready to help us compete. Coach, that Lackawanna pipeline still alive and well, I see. Well, you know what? Uh, the guys that have come from Lackawanna have been very productive in our football team. We feel like we have a very good relationship with their coaching staff, and they understand the players, the kind of player that we're looking for, and uh, we're able to – you know, have a good relationship there. Yes, sir. And, Coach, you guys were able to add uh, several high school kids from around the area. Um, yeah. And that seems to be, you know, really a trend for your program. And how much do you think, uh, I guess, not only having guys, you know, on the team from the local schools, but also the fact that so many big-time contributors have come from the local schools. And I guess how do you think that helps you land – more local talent and uh, really have that connection with the EPAC yeah. schools. You, you know, we, we, you and I, we guys, we've talked about this during the season and uh, the, being able to recruit the local 
players and that they feel good about the culture of our football program and want to be a part of it uh, is very important to myself and our coaching staff. Uh, we want our guy. We want guys that grew up here in the area that played their high school football, uh, that want to be close to their families and uh, feel really good about being a part of the Shepherd University football program. If you in, if you look at any small college, uh, you know Division two, II, Division three, even FCS programs, they're gonna they're gonna do well with the local schools. You know, I I think some you know sometimes. You know that that's that's just important to us, Coach. How do you think to the success of Tyson and now Joey getting his recognition with the Senior Bowl and everything helps your program recruiting moving forward? Because guys can have that dream of playing D one, but you can come to Shepherd and your dreams of playing at the NFL now can be a reality. You can get looked at. You see yeah. several guys getting yeah. those invites now. Well, you know, it's it's the fact that it goes back to we were a good spot for two local guys, two really good football players that were one, you know, Joey from Clear Spring, Tyson from Martinsburg, that two guys that felt good about being in, in the program. So, kind of, it's a nice segue into talking about those guys. But you know, the best players in the area feel good about playing football at Shepherd is a great deal. Um, you know, we in all our recruiting fellows. Uh, we tell our recruits, hey, it's nice to have NFL prospects. It's nice to have that but that dream and to work towards that. But we're more proud of developing graduates that are going to go out and have great professional careers in whatever they choose to do. Uh, that's who we really are. Uh, we're not any kind of small college uh, you know, building block for the NFL. We've just been able to have some NFL-type talent play for us. Coach McCook, what's you and your staff most excited for with this class this year? And then is, are, are there any other people that you know that uh, soon could be uh, well, committing? You know what? Every player that we've signed with us, I could tell you, has got a lot of value to our program. Uh, we're, we're really excited about the offensive line freshmen that we signed. We feel, I feel like it might be the best group of guys that we've signed in a long time holistically as an offensive line group. Um, Really like uh, the D corners that we signed. Uh, we signed some really good high school defensive backs. So I, 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 but I'm overall really pleased with the overall class. You know, you should feel good about it because you spent a lot of time working on them and, uh, you know, recruiting them. And our coach right, our recruiting coordinator, I thought did a tremendous job, of, you know, having a plan. I mean, fellas, we played up until December 10th. We had the day before Christmas, the day after Christmas off. Had a day before New Year's, day after New Year's off, but and then we've been, we've been pretty much working as a staff to put this class together. And coach, do you anticipate any more uh, lingering signings coming up here in the next couple weeks? I they, yeah, there there's a couple that are out there. We're hoping to get done. Yes, I think we all hopeful hopeful that that one specifically gets done, but. Uh, Let's move on here and talk about the two guys that you guys are going down to see. Uh, they've gotten national recognition over the last few days, and Joey Fisher back to his practices yeah. at the uh, NFLPA Bowl last Good. week. Well, what yeah, if jo Joey really showed at the NFLPA, got an invite to the Senior Bowl, but during the game, an NFLPA game, he broke a knuckle. Uh, so he's not participating right now. He's, uh, he's now injured and out of the, out of the Senior Bowl. So he came down, he did the measurables, measurements, uh, he did the interviews with the NFL coaches and scouts that were down here, and now he's back in Florida training. Uh, it's a minor injury, won't set him back. Uh, but what he did at the NFL PA, and, you know, Ronnie Brown did a heck of a job too, man. Ronnie really played well at the NFL PA game and really proud of what he's done. Um, and then, of course, Tyson. Tyson's killing it. Uh, but that's all what we've all expected, man. Tyson just uh, he just outshines, and you know, looking forward to seeing him today in person. And uh, so we're we're really excited about that, Coach. Uh, I guess just the fact that you are seeing so many guys, you know, with the opportunity potentially uh, to go to the next level, that's got to be exciting for the program and. Uh, it really is exciting. There's no question about it. You know, it, it is exciting that, you know, Shepard is, you know, 
but we've had such a good football team for the last 30 years and we've had guys that have played at the next level and so it's it is it's awesome with what social media has brought but you know I, I still go back to Howard Jones when he ran three straight four three forties and I, I feel like uh, obviously Wayne Wilson back in the uh, 80s got us on the map but I thought Howard Jones was the guy that really took off for us and uh, back when Howard played and you know but the, the fact that we might have two guys legitimate legitimately drafted is real it's awesome it's exciting and really happy for them and lo- I love the energy that's brought uh, to our program I, th- I think it's pretty it's great coach our intern and your former player Gerald Wright has the final question for you okay Hey, Coach, how you doing? Um, I just good, wanted Gerald. to ask. How are you, man? I'm good, man. N- nice to talk to you. It's been a while. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to ask, how is Alabama? Are you enjoying it out there? Uh, you know what? I- I've spent a couple summers down here in Mobile. I love I love L.A. I love uh, lower Alabama, the Mobile area. Um, it's a great place. You know, we're coming down for a iconic high- college all-star game. Uh, and we're going to, you know, we're going to tailgate a little bit as coaches. We're going to be fans in the stands. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a wonderful place. All right, Coach McCook, thanks for the time. Enjoy the time down there, and we'll talk here in the next few months. All right, sounds good. Thank you, guys. All Thank right. you. See you, Gerald.